All around the world, research corporations and major industry developers work around the clock to better understand and uncover materials that could be used to change the nature of our reality and help to improve the industrial market for a better and brighter future. Every now and then, these research efforts tap into a plethora of strange chemical compounds of metallic alloys that demonstrate properties that were never before theorized. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over these strange and mysterious substances that research scientists have discovered, what they can do, and why they are being used in the industry. Nitrogen triodide. Not many can guess what this strange material does when just hearing the name alone, unless you are one of the experts who helped produce it in the industry. While the word triodide is often used to refer to a variety of chemicals of which have the ability to be mixed with other chemicals to create different compounds, nitrogen triodide holds a special place for being a strange substance that had surprised the researchers of whom first created it. Nitrogen triodide is unbelievably explosive. While most explosives will use chemical processes that rely on either heat or combustion, nitrogen triodide is different in that it is explosive on contact. If the chemical compound touches next to anything, even placing it on a table, it will ignite the compound in a fiery blaze, making it one of the most incredibly volatile compounds. This is caused due to the fact that any amount of friction will set off the volatility of the compound and see it set ablaze. Vanta Black After going viral many years ago, when the internet was surprised to see a strange material that was so black that it seemed to be impossible to even look at with the naked eye, many were wondering what material could have been responsible for such a strange phenomenon that led people to even believe Photoshop was at the center of the effect. This strange material responsible is known as Vanta Black, and it currently holds the world record for the darkest material on Earth. Vanta Black was originally discovered and manufactured by the Surrey Nanosystems Company, of whom normally create and work on nanotubing. Interestingly enough, the properties of Vanta Black make it an incredible conductor of heat from photos, and can even catch a material on fire if sprayed with the paint version of the material on any object. This is due to the fact that the material allows the retention of 99% of all light that hits it. Recently, a building in South Korea was coated in the material to create the darkest place on Earth that can be visited by tourists of whom wish to see the incredible qualities of the material. Ultra-hydrophobic material Of course, many people have seen the strange effects of hydrophobic material and how, when it is sprayed or layered across a fabric, it can completely bounce water away from the material without it sinking at all. This has led to incredible inventions such as hydrophobic coating to protect against water damage, socks that can walk through a lake and not get wet, and even metallic parts that seem almost immune to many different forms of rusting. This is, however, only the tip of the iceberg, and though hydrophobic material might also appear like a strange and otherworldly material, ultra-hydrophobic material is more than just an unusual material. Ultra-hydrophobic material can turn water into marbles. If you spray any fabric or material with the ultra-hydrophobic material, you will find that it repels water so well that it will actually encase any amount of water in on itself causing it to take the form of a marble that will be able to be rolled around in the palm of your hand. The applications for industry are near limitless and very soon we might be seeing them applied onto car windshields to prevent the need of buying new windshield wipers every single year. Supercritical fluid. Under very specific standards of both pressure and temperature, a material could enter what is described as a supercritical fluid. Supercritical fluid is caused when a fluid becomes superheated to the point that it is above its critical temperature and pressure. Critical temperature refers to when an object is heated to the point that it cannot liquefy and rather either maintains a solid form or a gaseous form. Because of this change in heat and pressure, the material will rest at a point that is indistinguishable from that of a gas, a liquid or a combination of both. 
This means that though the state might be in a form similar to that of a gas, it will act and behave similar to that of a liquid as well and seem to possess properties completely impossible to predict. Industry Nickel Titanium The nickel titanium alloy is referred to in the industry by the name of nitinol. Although most metallic alloys are used in different industries such as that of construction, vehicle design or even in electronic components, nitinol is different in that it holds a special property making it incredibly useful for that of the medical industry. It appears that in the way that the alloy itself forms its atomic bonds, it can be built to remember a very specific shape in which it was designed and that when the alloy is twisted or distorted into a new shape under stress or compression, it can very easily twist itself back into its neutral shape with ease. This allows the material to be used in stents or other practical medical needs as well as industry materials that allow the alloy to twist and contort and always resume back to its normal shape. Gallium Similar in property to that of the liquid metal robot seen in the popular science fiction movie Terminator 2 Judgment Day, gallium appears to be one of the softest metals in the world and has a melting point that allows it to melt just from the heat of your hand. The element itself is bright, shiny and silvery white in colour, making it look very similar to that of liquid mercury but does not hold any of the dangerous side effects. In fact, there are many videos showcasing this metal's strange property as people hold the soft metallic piece in their hands and watch it slowly melt like that of a chocolate bar. Even when the material is in its solid form, it is so soft that you could cut it with a butter knife and holds the consistency of a block of peanut butter. Graphene Aerogel one of the strangest materials on this planet that almost seems to defy belief is the creation of solid objects that is made out of 99.98% of air. By volume, graphene aerogel is one of the lightest materials ever created, even holding a density that is lower than helium gas and only slightly higher than hydrogen. The material was created when researchers took hydrogel, a consistency similar to that of jello, and replaced all of its liquid counterparts with air making the majority of its creation filled with nothing. Outside of creating the least dense of all known solid materials, graphene aerogel finds its uses in that of fillers, coatings, adhesives, and even being used to develop lightweight 3D printing that can produce incredible precise results. Starlight material. Back in the 1970s, appearing on a popular television show known as Tomorrow's World that showcased incredible inventions and scientific discoveries that would lay the foundation for a better and brighter future was a revolutionary new discovery known as Starlight. Starlight was an intriguing new chemical compound that demonstrated an incredible ability of heat resistance of all kinds when undergoing testing on the television show. According to many different sources, including the NASA spokesperson Rudy Narango, Starlight was capable of defending a material from heats that exceeded 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This was tested using state-of-the-art lasers with an intense and focused beam capable of generating the heat equivalent of the surface of the sun. Despite this heat being directed at Starlight for a prolonged period of time against the material, it never penetrated the material and was completely unabsorbed, leaving Starlight cold to the touch immediately upon ceasing the application of heat. The material also proved to be incredibly efficient at dispersing energy and heat commonly seen in nuclear blasts, being more than capable of withstanding the blasting force and the heat generated by such a weapon. Dark Matter Out of all of the substances discussed today, nothing seems to be more mysterious and unexplained than the very nature of dark matter. What is it? Quite frankly, we have no idea. Not a single person has a single idea what it is, but it makes up over 80% of the mass of the universe and can't, for some reason, be directly observed by any means available. Though it can't be observed, by understanding the movements of stars, 
it was made obvious to researchers that there was a large amount of mass not accounted for. This mass would need to make up roughly 80% if it was to be able to hold the elements of the universe together, which is how scientists became aware of dark matter and its implications relative to the very nature of our universe. Understanding what it is, why it can't be detected and all of its strange properties could be the key to understanding big key questions about the nature of our universe and existence in general. Until then, we will just have to sit and wonder what it is and why we can't exactly measure it in any way. But what do you all think of these mysterious substances and materials and the strange properties that surround them? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.